problem one of chapter six hydraulic homework asks, uh, what is the flow rate for a curb inlet that has a curb opening three feet wide and six inches high if the water depth at the inlet is four inches? So I sketched out the scenario here. We'd probably have a rounded curb, but we're going to assume rectangular. We've got six inches high, three feet, or 36 inches wide, with a four inch water depth. Now, since our water is not above our opening, we're gonna assume that this is gonna behave like a weir. So we know we're gonna be able to use our weir equation for flow rate here at the bottom of page two. It's got our Q equal to that coefficient of the weir times the length of the weir times the height of the weir to the three halves. So write that down first. Now the question is, what's that coefficient of the weir? And in order to figure that out, we have to think about how that weir is behaving. So that water is flowing in and flowing into the weir. And so we have three scenarios that we're considering for FEP hydraulics. We have a sharp crested weir, which are, we're not told that that's what that is. Uh, we have a broad crested weir, or we have a free overfall weir. So we're gonna be in this free overfall weir case, which gives us a weir coefficient of three. So if we put our dimensions in here, this dimension along the bottom here is the length. So that will be our three feet. And then our height here is the height of the water itself. So we'll convert that to feet too as we put that in. So our weir coefficient is the three times that three foot length times this height of four inches, which will then convert to feet one foot for 12 inches and then take that whole quantity to the three halves. And when I do that math, I get 1.732 cubic feet per second, or we'll just do to one decimal place, 1.7 cubic feet per second for the flow rate into that weir.